Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today I thought we would work in one of our tall skinny journals and it is buried under here somewhere. So what I actually did guys was went through my done ephemera um, little boxy thingy, whatever you want to call it, and pulled out some ephemera for this journal. And this journal is the tall skinny one. I thought it was under here. Yeah under there the tall skinny one that actually has a lot of my digitals in it um, from my Etsy shop so if you guys are interested in any of those go over and check those out so I got a lot of different pieces here we got some small things these are all um, some collage tags like these two right here we could decorate they're just little pockets from another kit some of these that we made this was uh roxy's weekly challenge the little um what was that document holder um so we got a small one of those um got out some of these tall skinny tags that we had made and these are actually all my ladies here that are in the um paris ladies kit there we go real pretty uh, in my shop if you're interested in any of those and then just some collage tall skinny I think I had did these off the camera um, but I grabbed a couple of those let's see and then this was another one of Rachel's here some wraparound pockets um, this is a over the page um, just something to journal on the inside. Um, I think this was from, um, oh, who is this from? I don't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, the uh, Rose Lane. Yeah. I believe that's who I saw do these. I think she called them bookmarks, over the page bookmarks. And then these were a Rachel's Weekly Challenge. Um, these right here, I saw Heather at Ruby and Pearl do these. These two need to be still decorated. Um, but also Heather at Rose Hill Paper Cottage. So saw both of them do those. This was another one of Rachel's. That is the one of the pockets. Try to get these in here according to... And that's another big document holder. Now, I'm not sure if this one's going to fit in there, but we are going to see if it will. We have that one, and this is just a little scrappy pad. Um, I forgot who I saw do those. It may have been it may have been one of Rachel's. I'm not quite sure. So let's get that in there, and then I put one of those in there as well and then this was one of um, Rachel's weekly challenges there stick it back here and then that's just a collage that I did and um, that could be a pocket or a journaling card and then another one of those but a bit taller so let's put it there um, so that's all the stuff that I have gotten out for this. Don't think it's going to fit in here. They may. I'll just grab this little tin to lay these down in. Alright, so I thought what we would do today, um, because I did not back these pages. Um, now I'm probably not going to stencil them all, but I thought we could start out um, by doing some stenciling. So I have my Tim Holtz stencils there, and then this stencil here. Um, this is Lattice Flower that I got off of Amazon. So we have those. Um, now I have been doing a little bit of organizing. Um, I got these trays here, um, which is a holder for my Distress Inks and my Distress Oxide. Um, and in here, we actually have a little label maker in there. And I did post some pictures on 
um, Instagram and Facebook, I believe, of these little holders. I had saw um, Barbara at 49 Dragonfly um, had gotten these and left a link to them. They are from Amazon. So I ended up getting two. Now I've pulled it apart. So let's see. Okay, there we go. We got it back in there. Um, it is six different trays that come in it. And if I can pull this over. So if you guys. Well, there went that. But if you guys can see that, they are all labeled. And of course, it's not going to focus at all. Um, but yeah, they are all labeled so that I can see them. And I actually keep them on a table um, back behind me. Um, but since we were going to do some stenciling, and I didn't know what um, colors I was going to need, I brought those out. So I have two. So I have that one that has like all different colors on it that was already open. Um, and then this one is those are like the multicolors and then this is all like more of the um t dyed vintage photo black soot hickory smoke um walnut stain and things like that and some of them are not open so i did not open those just to label them i figured i would label them whenever i did open them so we have those here at the ready um what else did we okay and i also got this that she recommended and it just spins uh, relatively inexpensive and as you can see I've only used one um, and these are you know just the little dauber things I guess you could call them but I think they're like makeup brushes actually um, but they work perfect for this so I will end up labeling the rest of them um, or at least these as I use them that's why I got out my label maker um, was to label these as I use them because I'm not going to use just the vintage photo um, I wanted to use different kinds I've got my phone out so that I can open up the app that goes with my printer here and this printer and the case was also from Amazon um, I needed one and I didn't really like just the regular P touches or other label makers and this one too was inexpensive as well so that always helps leaves money for other things um, so we will let's see so it's just print master is the download that we download so and that's where I had lace there so let's all right get this ready okay there we go so that's all ready when we're ready to use that and we may be using it fairly quickly because let's see i think this i want some kind of blue um so let me go ahead and open this up and let's figure out um delete because i want a new one text uh, let's see now we have faded jeans which is a blue color and we have this blue in her dress so i think i'm just going to use that one let me get out a big sheet to put under there that way if we go off the side so we need a label that says faded jeans F A D faded jeans go ahead and center this and this app is really easy to use to be honest with you okay we got that turned on so we have that and now we're going to print and print now let's see it's searching for printer there we go it says it's connected so print now and there it is printing or maybe not of course I'm filming and nothing's coming out okay 
so let's try to pop it open and see what happened. There it goes. Yep. So not really sure what was up with that. Alright, so we have that one. So let's get out a new one and we will go ahead and label it really quickly. right there okay so now we have that one labeled cool beans we'll go ahead and shut all of this off for right now all right here we go all right so now what stencil do we want to use and these tim hold stencils i just keep on a ring and i have it hanging up over here so let's see what we want to use on that one. Oh, maybe we'll do that one. And this one is does it have a number on it? Oh, yes it does. Down here at the bottom. Okay, this one is THS026. Alright. So, let's go about the year. the lid off of the ear. Moved it around already. Oh, that's going to be pretty. can tell already. So this sponge is new, so it's going to take just a little bit to really get this going good on here. Oh yeah, that's going to be really pretty. Hope you're all doing well today. Doing pretty good. It is um, Wednesday, I think the 19th when I'm filming. Uh, and it's around 10 or so. What time is it? Yep. Yeah. 10.01. Uh, I'm working the closing shift today. Worked the closing shift last night. So yeah, feeling pretty good. I have some light housework to do today. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at there. That's really pretty. Um, yeah, light housework to get done today. Um, because I'm off tomorrow and I don't want to have to do anything tomorrow. So, yeah. The goal is to get all the house chores done today. Um, I think my husband has a... No, he doesn't. I have to go in the morning to have my routine laps done so I'll be doing that first thing oh and my B12 guys I'm behind on my B12 um, because last week with the big corporate walk I had to change my appointment well that's pretty We want it to go on over on the edge here. I think I do. Um, yeah, I had to cancel last week, so 
little bit behind in having my shot. So yeah, definitely feeling not having the energy. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Okay, so that's got that one and that has that labeled. So let's just get the top back on that one. Okay, so here we have green. I'm going to go ahead and just blot the top of this off some. Yeah. I think it still had vintage photo on it because you could see the difference in the color there. But I'm okay with that. A little piece of that stencil trying to pop up there. But yeah, it's supposed to get up into the 80s today, guys. And then I think the weekend it's going to cool off into the 60s again. So, um,. Guess we will all probably end up sick with that change of weather like that. Okay, so that got a little bit of that off. Alright, so let's see on this one what we want to do on there. I don't know if I like that down through there or not. I don't think I do. Don't know if we could. You know what? We could probably put lace down through there. With this one, I think I'm going to try to get it farther in the center here. Alright, so let's see. What do we want on this one? Now we have peeled paint. And I'm thinking that's going to go really good with that green. So let's turn this back on and go to our app. And do us one for. Nope. Go back. Uh, delete. Delete text and this is peeled paint All right it's hard to get my fat finger to actually hit that where it needs to okay print label and print Printer and print now. All right, so now we have our pilled paint. Yeah, because I only got ten of these little spongy things, guys. Um, so I wasn't sure. Um, which color I would be using them on <clears throat> and I didn't have enough for all of the because this is not even all of them I need to get some more because that's not all of my distress ink um, I still have some in the other containers okay so let's go ahead and see if we can get that on there good get a good start to that all right, so which one on here? Um, don't really want flowers. How about this one? That might look good. So, let's try this. Try to get it a 
farther in that corner there. But yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day today. Too bad I have to go work inside, right? Alright, cool. We did pretty good at getting on this edge over here. And then we'll go down the side and get that. Oh yeah, that's good. Right. So let's see. I'm trying to see where that is. Let's flip it over. Right there. Yep. Oh yeah, that did good, and then this one's like right here, close enough, awesome, oh yeah, that's cute, okay, done with that one, I really want to play with goodies though guys, Okay, so let's put the lid on that one. And then get this cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so there goes that one. Alright. Oh, well, some of them's back. Not a lot, though. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to... No, we decided we were going to put lace there. Okay, yeah, we could put lace there. That's cute. Let's see. What about this one? Here. Now, I'm thinking maybe the... Um, what, vintage photo, which I already have out right here, and I already have one of those four. Okay, so now which one do we want to use for that? I have um, some roses and stuff, but I think I want to use it with a pink color. Okay, let's see. If we can get this over here. Again, far enough to the edge. Get in that 
corner good. And I don't want them to be perfect, just because we're going to have all kinds of other goodies behind there. You know, something clipped in or a pocket and then a tag. There we go. That's a lot better getting it to the edge. Now, let's just do... Down through the ear just a tad. There we go. Cute. I like that one. Oh, that was over here. Okay. Let me clean this up a little bit. Backside, in case there's any over there. Alright. So that's cute. Alright, guys. I'm bored on the stenciling. Stenciling's not my funnest thing to do. I want to play with some stuffies. Let's see if... any lace close by well here is definitely not lace in there I'm gonna pause you guys and grab some lace all right guys I am back um, so we have these little laces here. So let's see. I want one a little bit wide, but not too wide. This is crocheted. Oh, I like that one. Okay, I think we'll go with that one. Yeah. So let's get her open. And then just see. How much of this we need. right here I'll probably do the um, rest of the stenciling off camera because I mean even for me it's boring I could imagine what you guys are going through okay Oops. I think something just fell so we'll get that back in there and turn this around this way. What do I want to use? I think I'll use the Fabri-Tac. And just get it up in here. Just try to get it as close to that fold there as I can so that it covers up that white but doesn't 
fringe on the closing. Oh, yep, that's good. Okay, so now we will go. Right down the edge. There. Oh yeah, see how good that disguised that. Perfect. Oh, I like that. Yep, that turned out good. Yep. don't want to cut those strings, but I do want to tidy that up. There we go. Alright, cute. I like that. Okay, well that turned out good. Alright guys, so I know we didn't do a whole lot today, but I have got to run and get my house chores done because I don't want to have to do it on my day off. I want to just play in my craft room when I get home. Maybe do a little bit more organizing. It is working out very well for me just to do a little bit of organizing at a time like these and the um, yeah, those thingies. Yeah. Um, Yes, it's working out really well. Um, not putting all that pressure on myself to get a whole lot of, <clears throat> you know, organizing and stuff done at one time. So, yeah. So, there's that one and that one. Um, so, I'm probably just going to leave this here so that I can pick back up on doing a little bit more stitzling. Um, yeah, and when we come back, I will show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.